This is the Sabbath School lesson for the third quarter, 2020. Lesson 8 for August 15 to 21, ready for teaching on August 22, Ministering Like Jesus, read by Dr. Percy Harold. Sunday, August 16, Jesus' Attitude Toward People. Jesus always looked for the good in others. He drew out the best in them. One of the criticisms the religious leaders of his day had with Jesus was that he receives sinners and eats with them, Luke 15 verse 2. They were concerned because he fellowshiped with the ungodly. Their view of religion was one of estrangement rather than engagement. They were surprised when Jesus said of himself, For I did not come to call the righteous but sinners to repentance in Matthew 9.13. The scribes, Pharisees and Sadducees' religion was one of avoidance. They thought, Do everything you can to avoid becoming contaminated with sin. Though uncontaminated by sin, Jesus plunged into this snake pit of a world to redeem it, not to avoid it. He is the light of the world, as we read in John 8, verse 12. Question, read Matthew 5, verses 13 and 14. What two illustrations did Jesus use to describe his followers? Why do you think he used those specific illustrations? See also John 1, 9, John 12, 46 and Philippians 2, verse 13. 15. Let's start with Matthew 5 and verse 13. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavour, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. And these other texts, John 1 verse 9, That was the true light, which gives light to every man coming into the world. And John 12, verse 46, I have come as a light into the world, that whoever believes in me should not abide in darkness. And Philippians 2, verse 15, That you may become blameless and harmless children of God, without fault in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world. Salt was one of the most important resources in the ancient world. It was extremely valuable, and at times the Roman legions used it as currency. It was a symbol of great wealth. It also was used to preserve and flavour food. When Jesus used the illustration of salt to symbolise his followers, he was really saying that the true wealth of the world is not the world's most powerful and richest people. The true wealth of the world is committed Christians who are making a difference for the kingdom of God. Their loving acts of unselfish service preserve the world's goodness and flavour its atmosphere. The second illustration Jesus uses in Matthew 5.14 was that of the light of the world. Light does not avoid darkness. It shines in the darkness. It does not separate from the darkness. It penetrates the darkness, making the darkness light. Jesus' followers are to penetrate the darkness of this world in their neighbourhoods, villages, towns and cities to lighten them with the glory of of God. And so to finish today, after considering Jesus' words in John 17 verses 15 to 18, actually why don't we read that before I read the rest of this sentence. John 17 beginning at verse 15. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. After considering Jesus' words in John 17, 15 to 18, how are we to understand the idea of separation from the world and avoidance of the world? Are they the same thing? What did Jesus mean when he prayed that his followers would be in the world, but not of the world? 
How do we do that? Hi there. Thanks for watching this video on the Advent Band Ministries YouTube channel. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to be alerted whenever we upload new videos. So, until we meet him in the clouds, may God continue to bless you. This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind and Hearing Impaired, Christian Record Services for the Blind, the Sabbath School Department and Hope Channel. You can also listen on the official Sabbath School 4 app and the Apple iTunes app, Sabbath School with Percy Harold. Remember, God is always faithful.